Hey guys, what's up everybody? It's the Knife's Meow, and today I have a co-star with me because um, it's Richie, it's my boyfriend. We've been together for a bajillion years, and um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, him and I actually have been modding knives together. For those of you who don't know, we've been modding knives together for quite some time, and he's like the reason I'm into knives, obviously. I mean, not obviously, but... Um, but I want him to be here in the video today because him and I both got a new knife in. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Today is pretty much just going to be a little show and tell. It's not going to be a review or anything. Kind of just like a first impressions, um, of our new Tucson. And we have other Tucsons and a pair of three here for size comparisons just to be like everybody else. You know, that's how we do. So, okay. So first things first, um... Oh, wait, you should say hi. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> That's Richie, in case you didn't. No, that wasn't me in a deep voice. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, today we have a new Tucson. It's the... Um, the TS-264. Yeah, the TS-264. We just got it in. Uh, got it off the secondary from uh, a cool dude. Um, actually, on Instagram, EdgeCutlery94. So, check him out. Go give him a follow. Yeah, he's awesome. And, um, and we found out he was, like, from around where we live, which was really weird, you know? Yeah, it was a trip. Especially when you run into people, I mean, when you run into people on Reddit, and then you find out that you're, like, from the same town, that's kind of cool. So, anyways, rant over, uh, backstory <laughs> over. So, here is the TS-264. Um, this knife is beautiful, first things first. It's got, like, this contoured inlay right here with the carbon fiber, um... Another key thing to point out is this backspacer. Not backspacer. It's just, um, it's like two, like the scales come together to me and it makes it look like an integral. And I'm sure there's a word for that. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not remembering it off the top of my head. Um, but what I can tell you is that this thing is literally a tactile dream. And another thing about the blade. Yeah, so this is one of Tucson's few full flat grinds. They also did a stone wash on it instead of a uh, satin like they usually do. I mean, their satins are beautiful, don't get me wrong. Like, they have some of the prettiest grind lines I've ever seen in my life. But this stone wash is beautiful on this blade. Beautiful. There are a couple things, though, that we noticed right off the bat that we didn't really like. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Yeah, it almost looks like a chip in the blade. Do you see that right at the end? Right, It's like right here, okay? Yeah, we thought it was a chip at first. I know, and we were kind of mad. We're like, oh my god, we bought it like Bray was a fucking... It was expensive. It was pretty pricey. Because it's a newer Tucson model, right? It's well over $100. Yeah, so we went and looked on eBay and... Uh, the other pictures yeah, of the, the night, picture the listing. Have for the listing, it has that same thing. So and it's like it comes that way. It's supposed to be a choil... But I don't really know because look, part of it's sharpened after, like. Yeah, it looks like it looks like shit. It looks. I don't know what the, <laughs> I don't I don't know know what what the they fuck were they were thinking. Yeah, but I mean, it's okay. That's the and the other weird thing, I guess I want to point out. Do you see this weird line right here by the plunge? It's really hard to tell. It's faint, but like. It's not, it's just because I'm under the light. Yeah, I don't understand why that is there. And I'm sure it's like part the, of the grind, but... But the plunge is, is like back way there. off to the side, so I don't understand why that is there. It looks pretty It's strange. like really not that big of a deal, but it's one of those things where it's just kind of like, okay, you know, like a little weird, but whatever. Um, those are the only main two things. And then the clip, here's the clip. It's kind of got this cool little ball thing going on, but like when Richie was like doing it and putting it in and out of his pocket... Yeah, I mean, it had it has good retention, but I was wearing some thin, like, shorts, so, I mean, I think on thicker pants is not gonna go in very well, but I haven't, I haven't really tried it yet, so I I'm mean, not completely sure. I know for my girl pants, which are, like, thin, not real legit pants, because they're girl pants, they'd probably be fine. Actually, hold up. I will try it right now, because I'm wearing some jeans with real, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't think it will tear up your pockets because it's on the carbon fiber, but the retention is, like, serious. It is not letting go. It's clingy as fuck. But, yeah. So, um, 
I'm sure there's something else. Oh, ergonomics. Let's talk about that for a minute. So, first thing right out of the box, that was probably, like, the biggest thing that we noticed was just, like, dude, you can squeeze this as hard as you want. You can feel the clip. I mean, that's a given. It's it's there for sure. But, like, the edges, I mean, it's so nice in hand. So nice. And it fits in my hand. And it fits in Richie's hand. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I expected it to be a little bit bigger, but I prefer it this size, honestly. I thought it was going to be closer to the Monarch size. Which um, is, like, honestly, I thought the Monarch was going to be a little bit smaller. And then once I got it, I was like, oh, that, that's a big boy. It's just because it's so thick. But this one, the way that it's contoured and it's short, it's just perfect. This is, like, look at all the belly on the blade. And then, like, I mean, it is, like, look. when It's, it's like, this like hand blade to handle ratio is on point and you can't touch the blade I uh, definitely are the tip of the knife at all by any means but look at that they did so good but there is one thing Richie noticed and I don't know if you guys are going to be able to pick it up so I camera. noticed when looking at this uh this area here that um one side of one of the scales is like a little I don't bit. Think you're gonna be able to see yeah. It. Well, one side is a little bit darker than the other, and you can kind of see some mill scale on one side of the scale. Yeah, it's um, definitely there. Let me see if I can. And that's not. I mean, usually two some knives are no, like on point up. with oh, wait, their there fit you go. and finish. You can kind of see it, all those little lines. Yeah. But it kind of, yeah, it kind of looks bad. So I mean. I mean, it is stonewashed too, so I mean, it kind of hides it, but if, and because there's all this little micro milling or whatever, but, if, but I don't think, wait, it's not the micro mill, it's not meant, you can tell, it like has that dirty look to yeah, it. Yeah, it, it looks, I don't looks, know how else to describe it, yeah, it I mean, the, bad. yeah, and those of you know, I mean, those of you who have seen mill scale will know what we're talking about, like, it's not, it's obviously mill scale, but, and the other one doesn't have it. It's just this this right side of the, the the lock scale that has it. So I mean, I might I might take it, the whole thing apart and blast the titanium parts. Mm -hmm. That's a possibility. And then we could re retumble it. Yeah. So throw we, it in the tumbler so we for might, a little bit. Might do that. It might look better with a, a yeah. darker like aluminum oxide blast. That would look. So, or maybe just leave it, just blast it. That would look so yeah, good. Yeah. So we'll see. Maybe polish the. It follow this clip a little or do a little something with that because that thing is holding on for dear life like okay i don't know did you listen to this listen to this do you hear this <laughs> <laughs> it sounds insane but it's I a guess, crazy ex i guess that kind of like depends if we're gonna uh keep it or not okay if but we all know we're definitely keeping it <laughs> don't tell him but like if he doesn't want it anymore i'll take it it's just fine i love this thing and like honestly Okay, here, wait. Let me just show you a couple size comparisons before I go on my, like, two sun rant. Because as of late, so here we go. We have this. And then here is the TS-49. It's one of their, like, flagship, beautiful, one of their older models, but still one of their best. This is actually the M390 version. Um, Richie bought both of them. He has the D2 one, and he has one in M390, and he swapped out the inlay. Because the M390 comes with this, like want to be um micarta and it's like <laughs> i'm sorry I, yeah. I don't like it very much yeah, it's definitely it's not very good they, they have probably some of the worst micarta it's like the mix the hooligan has better micarta which is saying a lot um so this is m391 i mean just look at i mean oh gosh i wish you could see these grinds oh i should turn this back up but yep here's the ts49 beautiful and look so this is actually pretty good it's smaller than the ts49 which is like it decently, I mean, this is a small-ish knife. This is like a medium, like perfect yeah, medium size knife. Sized. And then here is, oh, geez, the TS-123, I think. Um, this is a slip joint, and that blade is nappy, sorry. Um, here is, here's the pair of three, and it's a little bit bigger than the pair of three. It's also, I would say it's got comparable thickness. It's like... More, con it's definitely contour. I mean, this feels better in hand than than obviously than the pair of three does. But um, yeah, so they're about the same size. And then the last one, you got the Tucson Barracuda. I think that's the one thirty nine or one thirty eight. Something like that. Oh, we yeah, we remember names more than numbers, like I'm sure most of you do too. 
Um, this this is bigger than the 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 TS two sixty four, but maybe I can lift the camera up a little so you guys can see. Yep. So there's a decent. Oops, sorry, I'm shaking the camera, guys. And yes, I'm on my whale mat. Don't judge me. Um, <laughs> God. Okay. So not gonna lie, I love the TS or whatever the Barracuda. This is probably my favorite, especially with the shred carbon fiber. This yeah. is like my favorite one. Yeah, I love that knife. But the grind is beautiful. And they're not really doing the. I don't think they're they doing aren't. the shred anymore. No, nope. you can only get it in the um, standard. The regular, yeah. So this is like gonna be a collectible. This is something that we'll keep forever. Like we can't ever sell this by any means. And like all from what I or like what I heard was the reason why they aren't doing the shred anymore is because they were having a lot of issues with the carbon fiber cracking. Um, down here, down by the screw right here. And so like, or once you try to take it apart, it cracks and, or try to put it back together. So they stopped doing it. They were just having issues. So yeah, um, it was cracking from like little to no use. Yeah. Like at all, at all. So I not, haven't seen that personally, but, and we haven't bought, we haven't tried to remove the inlay or anything like that. Hasn't, yeah. it doesn't need to be taken apart. So we haven't, um, bothered to do that. And then, um, I think that's pretty good. I mean, I, this is really mainly just an overview, but we are, we do want to use it, and, like, I want to get back to you. We'll, both of us will carry it for a week or two, plus, you know, and um, just try it out and see how it works in the long haul. I think it's going to be great, you know, just the way ergonomically it feels great, you know, and I'm sure once it's sharpened. Do some, actually, did we ever cut anything? It's like sharp. That? It is sharp. Yeah, it's sharp. It. It's, I mean, this thing feels amazing. Like, that contour is just, I can't even tell you how awesome this is. I really, really, really like this knife. And, like, a lot of their newer models, I mean, I love Tucson. I'm not talking shit. But their newer models sometimes are just a little weird and not always my thing. But, like, this came out. And there's another one. There's a few, like the Sabretooth and a few other ones. But this is newer than the Sabretooth. That, um, I think this is Jelly Terry, right? Um, no, that's Moz one. It is Moz one? Oh, that yeah. makes sense, because literally all of our favorite two sons are Moz ones. Yeah. I think we have, well, the Monarch is Jelly Jerry, oh, but... I think they have it right here. Is it inside I the... I can't even see it, but... Sometimes he has like it right inside. It's like right here, yeah. Let me see. It's in there? Okay, hold on, guys, sorry. Oh, two sons, yeah, it's Moz one. It's like, okay, hold on. Maybe I could show you this. Nope. Oh, no, wait, give me a flashlight. You can see the, like, tip of the... T oh, wait, I took the battery out of the flashlight. Oh, it's... Okay, well, look, you can kind of see it in there. And right here is the Moz One logo. You can see it. Yeah. It's, like, barely, but you can see there's... Oh, wait, you have... Yes. Just just turn it on. Just grab your... It doesn't have to come off. See? Boop. Moz One. Man, Mazwan has some beautiful designs. Like, he's on another level. Him and Jelly Jerry have some of the, like, the best designs. Night Morning has some awesome designs, too. Like, but, but Maz, oh, shoot, sorry, guys. Like, here, this is, like, is this a Night Morning design? So, uh, one more thing about this knife is it has external stop pins. Which is amazing. Most of Two Sons have the internal stop pins, and then this one just uses the thumb studs. And then they just uh, rest right up and against here. And this little hole thing is so cool. I'm gonna watch the camera go back a little. There you go. And then, um, wait, this is like, oh, geez, my blade is disgusting. But, um, like, dude, all of these knives. When, when Tucson does carbon fiber, like, this knife is way too big for this, like, like, look at that carbon fiber. It is so pretty. Um, yeah, so I thought it was going to be closer in size to the Monarch. Yeah. But um, it's definitely, definitely quite a bit smaller. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. I mean, even the TS-49 is bigger than it. So, yep. Um, oh, wait. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. But I have in it. Oh, my gosh. It is really dirty, too, by the way. So, my apologies. Um, here, let me clean it off so you guys can see. Oh my god, ow, oh, rubbing alcohol in my cuts. That feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, don't cut yourself. We gotta get going here in a minute. I'm definitely gonna, this is, yep, okay, so. There, look, I have anodized the bolster. Uh, the faux tie bolsters. Um, 
there we go. Isn't that beautiful? And the grind on this. I mean, when they do, I always choose them to do more flat grinds. Because look, that's so gorgeous. Their grind lines are on another level. They really are. That's so pretty. And this is stupid thin. I mean, the stock is a little chunky. But this thing has, this doesn't even feel like it's on bearings. Like, there is literally no resistance. I can't, I, I can't even tell. It doesn't have the Tucson squeak. And for those of you who don't know what the Tucson squeak is, the Tucson squeak is when you flip the knife open and the garage stop, it's just, it like, it like goes zip, you know, it's like a zipping noise. And, um, some of their older, older models had it, like this TS-49 had it for a long time, um, oh, the older one. Yeah, the TS-27 has it pretty bad, too. Oh, like the worst of all of them. Yeah, it's just because the, um, where the, the, lens. Where, the uh, where the detent ball runs on, there's, uh, it's like textured from how it was, uh, how it was milled when the knife was yeah. ground at the factory. It's, and it's kind of like, if you look on a bug out or if you look on, there's certain ZTs, it's like, well, the way the blades ground, you can see. Yeah, because it's ground by machine, you could tell. Not by belt. Yeah. Yeah, so if you run your nail over it, it'll make a zip noise yeah. and it's the same concept. Oh. Um, so yeah, I actually, I have a Monarch as well. Uh, and I just, uh, did a mirror polish on the blade. Um, oh, there's like some gunk on it. It's not really showing up very well. Look. You see that? I'm gonna stonewash it. So um, this is my hand in it. He did this like by hand. Sorry, my nails are. I like. I need to redo my nails. I'm in the process of like. I have to go to work. But yeah, look at this, you guys. There's my phone and my phone case. Like, it is a perfect mirror. And this is. He's not even done yet. And then you're gonna do what are you gonna do? You're gonna do a mirror stone wash. Yeah, I'm gonna right? do a mirror stone wash on it. Oh wait, this doesn't have to squeak. Wait. Yeah, this oh, one yeah, has to squeak. Wait, ready, listen. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> ready? I don't know if you're gonna be able to pick that I don't up. Know. Here. No, it's not gonna do it. I have to like yeah, it's not gonna pick it up. Sorry guys. Alright, I don't know if I just blew your eardrums, but um Oh, well while we're here, might as well talk about some of uh, a knife that I just finished up. It's that Mac 2. Sorry, this is gonna be a long video, guys. It's already at 20 minutes. Oh, oh my god. So um here is the Mac 2 that I finished up. I'm gonna turn this down a little because it's like glaring on the scales, but it's really dark in person. It is beautiful. Um it's got the blasted thumb studs, they're just pretty much solid slabs of titanium with like minimal, um, minimal weight reduction. And it feels really good in hand. It's a great size. Um, I love this knife. I love the size of it. But, um, it's just the grind is a little, it's a little thick for my taste. Extremely thick. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely thick. It's a great knife though. I, I really do enjoy the action on it. Like, it's crazy. I thought this was going to be on washers. It is on bearings. Uh, it's on steel bearings. And um, just got two standoffs. You know, easy easy to clean. It has this little laser etched texturing right there inside of the um, the lock bar cutout. Um, no lock bar insert. No lock bar insert. But it has. it doesn't have lock stick or anything like that. So, I mean, whatever. As long as it doesn't have lock stick, it doesn't matter. And then it's got, like, I mean, McNeese always has... Oh, this is the McNeese Custom, or MCTEC. I mean, I don't know if I said that, but the McNeese Mac 2 from their... His, like, uh, Pro Machine line or something. I can't I can't think of it off the top of my head. But, um, most... He always does cool pivots. This one has an orange peel texture on the pivot. Same with this side. And um, the recessed um, screws are really cool, too. Oh, yeah, that is really nice. And they're nice screws. Like, the heads, they're really deep. Um, so what I did is I blasted it. Uh, with aluminum oxide and then put it back together um took me a couple tries because we were having issues i was having issues with the blast cabinet it was mainly my fault i needed to clean out and replace the media because the media you know had become worn and so i noticed certain spots on it were just a little uneven so i went to clean out the blast cabinet and as some of you might know from my story i was tired and frustrated at the hilarious. time oh my god it was hilarious <laughs> so i cleaned out the the thing and then the blast cabinet to put in new put in the new media and then i poured in the media and richie comes out and he's like what are you doing i was like well i'm i'm cleaning out the blast cabinet he's like i know but like why did you put the old stuff 
in the cabinet. That is our old media. That's our worn media that we have put away. Like, you know, that we've, like, put into this box. And I could have slammed my head against the wall. I was so frustrated. And cleaning out the blast cabinet, it was just, oh, I was already so done. And I had a long day. And then I did that. And then I had to clean it all out all over again. And I was able to get everything finished and, you know, done last night around midnight. And, um... Yeah, it was just, oh my god. It doesn't sound like that big of an ordeal, but if you had been there, you would have been like, yeah, I feel so sorry for this girl. The design for the blast cabinet doesn't have any way that you can, like, easily just empty it. Like, no. other blast cabinets. I know, and we should have done a little more research before we... Well, I mean... Yeah, it, Whatever, it, it was before. Job. Yeah, it's fine. It's really not that big of a deal. And really, we just, like, we. it's fine. It wasn't a big deal. It was just because I had, like, a long day, and it was, like, 6 o'clock, I needed to eat dinner, you know? It's just when you push yourself and you're a little too tired, um, you're shaking the camera really bad. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. So, I think that's going to be it, guys. Um, I will post another video for you guys up here shortly. I've just been really busy with schoolwork, work, and... Um, customers and I have deadlines and so I need to find a way so that I can record videos for you guys but also not take away time from customers. You know, I need to get this done and so, um, but I'll find a balance here shortly. Here is the techno that I've finished, um, that I've blasted. But, uh, yeah. Alright. Thank you so much, guys. Alright, guys. We'll, uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Oh, and you can find us, um, you can find him at Instagram. Um, yeah, uh, Richie B underscore modifications. And then you can find me, uh, Lindy Lou with two underscores. And you can find us together. We have a modding account on Instagram that we started not too long ago. Um, it's called Knife Modders. And I'll put all of this in the description below. So if you want to find us. But yeah. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good one. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.